Okay, and then... Alright, almost completely ready to go. Ah, uh, made so much progress since the last stream. But is it enough progress? We shall see. I'll also show what few things I did spend a few of the cubes on. There were a few things I just had to have. Okay, got the link. Hey there, Buster. Alright, toss out an at here and a control V onto my Discord. And there we go. Alright, alright, alright. Hey, Google. Hey, everybody's here. Okay, now I just need. Alright! Yeah, yeah, sorry about the time change. I can't help it. It's. I'm doing the best I can. They're. Starting next week, I'm going to be on 10 hour shifts. And. Also, the shifts are going to be three hours earlier. Anyway, anyway, not getting too much into my schedule. I'm basically going to be really pressed to stream at all. Just like every summer. So, you know, bear with it for a couple of months. Uh, hopefully I don't miss too many streams. I've been pretty good about not missing streams for a while now. But this is always, this is always rough. <laughs> Oh, yes, it spreads. Beho oh, wait, no, we're not doing that today. NGU is, uh, oh, wait, no, we're not doing that today. Perfect, no, what, uh-oh, what the hell is going on now? What the hell? Things are happening in Perfect Tower. Ah, uh, <clears throat> but now we're not, that's the, with today's synergism. Today is synergism. So, ah, uh, ah, uh, well, catch you another time then, Google. All right, so let's see. It uh, looks like I've got f quite a bit of time since the last time I clicked this button. Let's go ahead and hit that. Maybe slam this a few times. Uh, maybe I might want some of this to be enhanced. Okay. Now I'll talk about what uh, all the cubes I got lying around and what we're going to spend them on. Just, uh, okay, we're not quite into an ascension yet, but I may be able to uh, jump across the finish line a little bit faster in a minute. All right. Maybe a little more. Well, probably can't do this. Oh, wait, no, wow, three of them. Okay, so... What have I done? I have ascended many times. The first thing going on is the Tesseracts. Uh, it's going to be a little bit before I can buy more, but I managed to get one vector. And since I got the vector, I've been gaining real kind of absurd gains on the Tesseracts. But not enough to get to here yet. Still, everything below this point's at least two. This one's all the way up to seven. Very nice. So I've got auto purchases. So what did I what what did I spend cubes on? Well, I really should have been doing the quark thing, but I wanted to save up cubes. So I've got eighteen thousand. The only things I bought were this set here. All the automates. Man, automating these, especially the particle upgrades, these are these are tremendous. These help so much. But now we have to decide what to do with 18,000 of these things. I could get more cubes per ascension. Well, that'd probably be nice. I could get more building power. I could get for each 20 cubes opened at once, you gain an additional tribute. 5% I mean, gain is not bad. Look at look at this. There's other options mixed in. Exponent per level of crystal. 20% game speed. Oh, that's tempting. 
That's really tempting. Okay, everything past that's out of my price range. But I haven't been opening these tributes in a while. Get red heart, then improved loot filter. <laughs> oh no, 35k is something. Don't tell them it's nothing. It's just, you know, eventually you'll find that you have a lot. Uh, improved loot filter, though. I can definitely recommend that one. That's a good purchase. Uh, of course, you want the accessories when you can get them. I'll oh, save up for it. You'll, you'll get there eventually. All right, let's see. All right, let's open a thousand. So, so here we've got all of these. Let's just open all. Yeah, I could get quarks farmed better, but let's just open all. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is there anything in the shop? Nothing that's going to make opening these better, right? Yeah, nothing. Although I will take this. I think this will help make the reincarnations easier. Oh, if I could just get a little more. Hold on. Give me give me that 55. There we go. Okay. Boop. Hold on. Before we open all the cubes, let's just try these. Four more. Oh, really? I can't... Wow, okay. Well, damn. Oh, well, four more of these. How much does that really help me, though? I'm not sure. Oh, well. It's probably good. It's, pr it's probably good. All right, let's do it. Open all. So put your eyes on whichever one of these you want to uh, focus on, and we're going to see what happens. I'm looking at that global time acceleration. Holy shit. Are you kidding? Wow, I only gained six cubes from all that? Or six quarks? I underestimate or overestimated or something estimated. Well, pride accomplishment and hunger for power. Okay. Ah, uh, right. Well, we went up by 5% right there. Damn, everything is faster. The automated research, also incredibly nice. Uh, all of those automates were incredibly nice. 100% global speed boost. Rune levels. The ant sacrifices. Ant speed. Look at the ant speed. On top of global time acceleration. I think those will multiply. Obtainium. That's, that'll speed things up a lot. Look at all this stuff. Look at it all. My goodness. So normally I need to get this up to an E7%. Uh, an E7 to uh, reincarnate. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Bonk. Bonk, 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 bonk. Okay, fine, whatever. It is. Look at how fast it's ticking. It's kind of annoying that it's written in seconds because it's like, no, those aren't seconds. They're going to buy too quickly. You should only open half. <laughs> It's too late! Also, the red heart is a 10% AP boost. The red heart? Hold on. Oh, you're talking... Sorry, that's NGU Idol. There I am going... What? <laughs> is that something over here? <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, we are gaining at an absurdly rapid rate. But... Oh, we might have the win then. Let's go through them all in order. Let's leave nothing on the table. Okay. Well. Well, whatever. No, one of these maybe? Ah, oh, well, there you go. 
It's close. It's close. Not quite there yet, but it's close. And at the speed we're traveling now, it shouldn't be too, too long. Oh, hey, look, one of those. Yeah. Bonk. All right. Right. Hmm. Donk. Okay, so while we wait for that for a moment, I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to be like, uh, what am I going to be like? Looks like I need more of this crap. Uh, mm, uh. Well, I'll just take this crap. Yeah. So I'll be putting out a, I'll be putting out some more videos on this uh, through the week. Uh, as you can see, I finally, finally did it. I finally got the uh, to the next candy tier. Took me long enough. Took me rather an absurdly long time. At the moment, I'm saving up donuts, and then I'm going to save up rocket launchers for this thing. Funny that I can make these chocolate rockets, yet you can't actually arm a soldier with one. I find it mightily annoying, actually, to, to, to tell you the truth. Anyway. Right. Okay, we're good yet? <laughs> we have gone up. Just in the time I've been streaming, we've basically got up 20% on the uh, particles. We are screeching forward at uh, an alarming speed. But not quite there yet. We're close. We're getting real close. There's not really anything I can do to speed it up at this point. I've kind of tapped out all my resources. I kind of thought that I would be pushed over the line by just doing that, but I guess not. These would get me a few more runes. Now, one thing I wanted to bring up, we mentioned last time respecking, and I left that alone until today. I can res well, I can't quite afford to respec all, but I could afford to respec. But I'm not entirely sure what I should respec them into. I'm just not entirely sure what I should make them do. Which rune is which? Which three runes are gonna help me ascend the fastest? Because they all help in different ways. The accelerators are great. Multipliers, tax growth is delayed. Uh, crystal, you know, crystals. I don't know. I guess that's important. Thrift rune. Now the building cost. Bringing the building cost down and then switching back out of this, maybe? Or maybe I should just put superior intellect on all. Would that, would that be the smart play? Let me turn off auto-fortify, grab some resources, and let's see about this whole respecking game here. Hmm... Hmm. Okay. Thrift, SI, and speed. I guess. Alright, let's hit this. Let's try these. So everybody's on the same page now. All right. Oh, damn. Okay, this should be significantly sped up. But two of these runes are no longer receiving their full bonus from the talismans. Well, let's try the challenges and see what happens. 
Nope. Oh, no. Right, how about this one? Ah, I got that one to 100. I think, do we maybe have the win yet? Maybe? Eh, that one annoys me. I feel like I should get, after buying from the shop, I feel like I should at least get this to 26. Mm. Got it. All right. Ascension time. Yes. Okay, starting a new ascension. Tons of things I could be doing. Where do I usually begin? I usually begin by pushing this button a few times and then hitting all my runes. Speed dupe thrift? Really? You don't think superior intellect is good? But it boosts obtainium and ant speed. Yeah, dupe is good too, though. I don't know. I have no idea what's the correct choices. I do know, however, I need to run challenges at the start of each run. Sometimes I even just make this the first thing I click on. Because the gains are so dramatic. And I am definitely moving faster. Holy crap. Okay, maybe not quite that fast, but still. Boop. Ba doop, ba doop, ba doop. Boop. Ba doop. Ba doop. Just change to SI when you want to sacrifice. Oh, you want to be very mobile and swap back and forth. But ants, I don't know. I've been kind of measuring everything by my ant growth. It tells me where in the run I am and how I'm doing. I just always look over here and know essentially where I am on the way to an ascension. As I mentioned, it's usually an E7 at the end, although I just changed that. I got an ascension on an E6. All right. Nerp. Bonk. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Absurdity. I go ahead, buy it. Yes. Gah! Look at the particles go. Look at them climb. I have 2,000 WoW cubes I haven't spent yet. I should probably do something with them. Burp. More. More. I don't think I'm ready for that one yet. Do it! Excellent. The Ellos are in. We can get the uh, Talismans already. Gorgonzola. Hmm. <laughs> Dupe and Thrift nerf taxes. Speed is just good. Hmm. Alright, well we can try switching it around. Bonk. 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 Let's see. Even more. And start gathering those LOs. We're already at 17x. All right. Let's take a moment to consider our 2,000 new cubes. Ooh, that's enough to buy. Actually, that's enough to raise the building power a little bit. It's a little bit. Two. Two in that. I think that's the only thing I could buy right now. Would be if I wanted to increase the building power. Hmm. Okay, I'll take it. So, that should affect all my buildings, I think. So, hmm, I don't know how much of an impact that's going to have. 
do, however, see that we're continuing to rise at a meteoric pace. You know, I always thought it weird to say meteoric rise. Meteors aren't exactly known for rising, per se. You know, a meteoric fall, I would understand. Now, that would obviously be a Smash Brothers reference. <laughs> now, I know the saying's old. Okay. Oh, no, no, stop, stop, stop it. There you go. Huh, we seem to have slowed. What to do? Hmm. Oh, I turned off the auto fortify. That might be why we slowed. Okay. Well, switching to dupe, huh? I'll need some resources to do that. Shouldn't take me too long. Right now, we've got ant speed times 600 and ten, 700 and... A lot! <laughs> ant speed times a lot! That's ridiculous. What if I like a fast ant speed? I will be switching to dupe shortly and see how that does. See how that does. Hmm. Yeah, this is usually about around as far as research gets. It'll pick up just a few more little things. Hmm. Still need more just to get the plastic one. God, there's some more things I can get, and I feel like I really need more talismans. I've been feeling for a while like that's that's the next big investment that I need. Talismans. Unfortunately, the talismans are hidden in places like um Yeah. Complete the no runes twenty-five times. Sadistic 25 times. It's going to be a little while. You know? A reduced act. A reduced ants challenge seems a bit much to me. Ascend. But the only, you only get free ant upgrades. Yeah. I mean, this would be wonderful, but I just don't know. This would be wonderful, but I just don't know. Oh, by the way, I have a few more WoW cubes. Dunk. That yeah, couldn't possibly hurt any. Yeah, I think that was good. Still a little disappointed with my shop spend, but I'm sure in the long run it'll pay off. I just wanted more now! But I always want more right now. So how long do you think this ascension is going to take from start to finish? Do you think I can do it within an hour? I'm not sure that I can. Slowdown is pretty tough, although the ant speed is going up by crazy levels. Hmm... Ugh, still not fully enhanced. Okay, I'm turning that off. All right. Come on. I just need a little more. Okay. Respecking. Let's see what happens. 
Switching from SI to Thrift. Alright. Alright, we've switched from SI to Thrift. I don't see the particle gain going up particularly when I reincarnate. Hmm. 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 I don't know. I can't really tell the difference with putting the thrift rune on. I mean, I know the ants are, are, are a little bit slower, but other than that, I, I can't really tell. Hmm. Eh. 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 <laughs> I'd like to buy more of these, please. Ah, there we go. All right. So I'm not seeing much happen to the tax growth here. Hmm. Huh. Hey, how's it going, Roman? Ah. You're a new face. Or a new name. All right. Hmm. I don't know if there's anything I can do to really speed this up a whole bunch. I think this has just become... Oh, oh, that was good. Hmm. I think I'm going to switch the runes back from, uh, oh, I'll need that. I think I'm going to switch it back to the superior intellect. I need these, and then respec all. We're going to go back to speed thrift SI. Wait, no, that's wrong. Click. Okay. Eh. I definitely see the ants moving a bit faster. <clears throat> ah. Ah, that's cool. I guess. Ah. Uh, I didn't. I'm. I'm all the way up here in Alaska. I only hear about the lockdowns. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't have one locally, so I just hear about them. I hadn't heard about them in a while and had assumed they were over. <clears throat> uh, you in one of the big cities? Or, uh, I, I, I literally have no idea anymore. I'm that disconnected from, <laughs> from what's going on down south. One of the advantages of living in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> I suppose. Right. There we go. More. This is definitely helping. Just grabbing tons of the yellow triangles. Oh. All right, I guess that's enough bill ciphers. I need to enhance things again. And only you can give me the power to enhance. Dang. 
Okay, well, I guess we're not enhancing anytime soon, because I need way too many of these. And these are hard to buy. Which is fine. Okay, we have crossed the threshold. Oh my gosh, I think... How long have I been streaming? Okay. I think I can do the entire ascension in less than 30 minutes now. What once I could only do about once a day. I think so. I think we can do a full ascension start to finish in half an hour. And you know what that means? I need to figure out how to create auto ascensions. That's what that means. Ah. Uh, hey, Alaska! We always need more people! Come on over! <laughs> We have loads of space. You can buy some land relatively inexpensively. Believe it or not, you can grow crops extremely well. Huge cabbages, potatoes, broccoli, all kinds of things. Hell, if you have a little hothouse, you can grow your own tomatoes too. Uh, if you're into hunting, there's a lot of that around here. It's not really my thing. Oh, fishing is a big thing up here too. Again, I'm more of a gamer, but you know, these are things that exist. Ah, uh, and it's also one of those places, um, of course, of course, this is one of those places where there's a gun behind every blade of grass. Like, everyone up here owns a gun, except, except for me. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm more of a gamer, but, <laughs> yeah, if you want the rural solitude life, I mean, y y yeah, this is the place to be then. Um... We've got, uh, basically we've got two cities, and then a whole bunch of small towns, and then a whole bunch of little villages. Uh, we've got Anchorage, which seems to be part of, uh, the lower 48 that somehow got lost and ended up up here. I don't, I don't know what it's doing up here. It's, it's definitely down south. That, it's, it's just definitely misplaced. We've got Fairbanks, which is, you know, where I live, which is, it's, 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 kind of still got the small town feel where you'll run into people you know everywhere you go like out shopping and stuff but it's big enough that you don't know everyone so it's it's kind of an in-between small town and small city like like right in right in the middle and yeah everything else is smaller I don't know there's Homer there's Juno there's Nome there's North Pole uh, North Pole's real small that's like I can just drive there. It's not far. <laughs> or you could just, you know, live out in the middle of the woods. I mean, there are people who do that, too. There's a lot of people who live in dry cabins. Because why have running water, I guess? I don't know. I like running water. <laughs> but I'm weird. I'm a little bit of a misfit for this location. But that's fine. Because there's tons of misfits around here, too. So we just fit right in. <laughs> Is U.S. citizenship a castle? Really? Huh. For, for Germany? Really? I thought Germany was a country that could easily get U.S. citizenship. See, I know if you're Filipino, you can just, you can just basically walk into the U.S., uh, as far as I know, it's it's super easy. Um, I know a lot of Koreans. We have a lot of Koreans and Filipinos around here, actually. Um, I've never heard that. I, I mean, I've known some people who lived in Germany who are local, but they were. Huh. I don't know, I just assumed Germany was a place that was uh, easy to get, you know, easy to, to, to immigrate from. But I guess I don't know a shit ton about immigration. Hmm. I wonder if it's possible to go in a roundabout way. Like, to get Filipino citizenship and then to go from there to the U.S. or something. I literally have no idea. Seems like it would be a, a workaround. Hmm. <laughs> we gotta pump those numbers up. Ha! 
Hmm. Land of the misfit Alaskans. Yeah. Yeah, you can, uh, you can pretty much be whatever you want around here. People aren't too judgmental for the most part. I mean, okay, we have our old coots. We have lots of old coots. <laughs> with strong opinions. I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> last challenge is a massive pain in the ass. Huh. To get a sponsor who covers you. Hmm. 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 Clunk. Boy, actually, the 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 ant count is super low. I feel like we've got everything else we need to ascend, but the ant count is just super behind. I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. I can push that. Uh, I can try. Let's. Oh, shit, it's the white ones again. Doggone it. I always need more of those. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'll... I should... I should, if I'm going to give people a pitch on why they should live in Alaska, I should give the counter pitch. So reasons to live in Alaska, all the things stated before. We also don't have a state tax. We actually pay people to live here. That's not a joke. The Alaska Permanent Fund Dividend. You can just look it up. The, the Alaska Permanent Fund Dividend. And don't listen to anything by... Oh, shit, what was his name? I'm spacing... He was one of the politicians that was on the national stage, and he kept he running for president in the last election, and he kept talking about the Alaska P P D uh, the, the Alaska Permanent Fund dividend, and he didn't know what he was talking about, and it was infuriating. He'd go on stage and he would say all this shit, and there'd be nobody on stage who'd know anything about the permanent fund, so nobody could call out his bullshit, and I'd be like, "Err, <laughs> stop it." Anyway, but yeah, you can look up the uh, permanent fund. Anyone who's a resident here, you literally receive money every year from the state. The state's just like, here, have money. And we've had that for forever? <laughs> for a long time, anyway. For as long as I've been here. Um, so now the drown sides. During the summer, it gets hot. And there's mosquitoes. Lots of mosquitoes. So many mosquitoes, we joke that that's our state bird. Actually, when it comes to bugs and wildlife, we got a lot. Uh, we got moose, bald eagles, all kinds of things up here. It's actually a really freaking big state, uh, so I shouldn't generalize too much because there's 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 more than one biome. <laughs> like that's how big we are. Um, obviously, during the winter, it gets forty below. It, 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 you you can ask Celsius or Fahrenheit, and my answer is yes. Forty below. <laughs> it's it's literally the same on both both measurement types. They they meet at that number. You'll see that for a few weeks every winter. Um, there uh, there are warmer parts of the state. If you're near the ocean, the temperatures are more stable. Where I live, there's no wind because I'm in a valley. But the cold settles here and sits just because I'm in a valley surrounded by hills. And cold air goes down. It's just the nature of it when you don't have wind to push the you know temperatures around. It's dark during the winter. And during the summer, the sun never sets. We're the land of the midnight sun. So, so you're aware. <laughs> this is what you're getting into. So, you know, you invest in thick curtains for the summer. And uh, there are a lot of people who do suffer seasonal depression. Um, 
I mean, hell. I don't, but I have to take vitamin D supplements because, you know, during the winter there's no sunlight. And that's fairly common. <laughs> so. Although, if you're into uh, skiing, snowmobiling, um, any kind of winter sport, we have dry snow. You can't make snowmen out of our snow. It doesn't work. But for people who are into snowmobiling, skiing, all the winter sports, dry snow is the best. They love it. Sle dog sledding. We have a big dog sled race every winter. A big, big one. That's a tradition that's been around forever. The Iditarod. Oh, also, it's not what it used to be. Ice Alaska was amazing. The best ice sculptors from all around the world would come here, where I live, to compete every winter, and they would make the most spectacular, like two-story tall, ice sculptures. Just an entire, just imagine a theme park of nothing but incredible ice sculptures. It, um, I haven't been there in like a decade because the people running it were a bunch of dipshits and they kept pissing off the greatest ice sculptors with incredibly stupid calls and just being dipshits and they were running the entire event into the ground. I, I know it still goes on, I know there's still impressive ice sculptures that do get made, but it was it was in decline and it was sad to see because man, a decade ago they were incredible and uh you know, it'll probably come back. It'll probably come back uh, at some point. Michigan. Oh, yeah. Um, you can always find a job up here. Um, you might not find the great tech job, if that's what you're looking for, or some wonderful office work. But there will always be a job locally. Um, our local economy, we have a big, we have several large military bases right around us. And so that's a lot of soldiers who come into town to spend, spend money. So our economy is um, pretty strong locally. Well, we've also got the gold mine. Um, we've also got We've also got tourist stuff, hot springs. We have uh, China hot springs, Manly hot springs. Uh, we get a lot of Japanese tourists. Um, we, we get a lot of tourists in general. Not this last year. Obviously, this last year was different. But uh, we've got a very strong economy, so there'll always be a job. The government thought you were stealing jobs. Yeah, we do not have that issue locally. <laughs> nobody wants to hire a programmer straight out of apprenticeship. Oh, Kelvin! Nobody uses Kelvin! Get out of here! <laughs> I have no idea what they've been doing the last decade. As I said, the ice sculptures were beautiful. I remember two-story tall dragons with a, you know, with a knight fighting them. I remember an Alice in Wonderland setup with all this beautiful just Alice in Wonderland stuff. Uh, there was a mirror with her going through the mirror, so half of her was on one side, half of her was on the other, all carved in ice. And the artists threw the 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 artists threw Humpty Dumpty in on a whim because they were being just whimsical and having fun with it and they were disqualified because the title of the piece was through the looking glass so Humpty Dumpty shouldn't have been there as I said they were dipshits like you do something like that you piss that ice carver off he's not gonna come back and they just kept doing things like that it, it wasn't even it wasn't even political or anything they were just, they were just being dumb. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, 
personally, I think a programmer out of apprenticeship would be the... I, I, I think that that would be a good point to hire them. But I don't have the kind of money to afford hiring a full-time programmer. I may or... You know, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking a lot about commission work uh, for art and different things. So my opinions are different than what a company would want. But to me, I look at it, I'm like, you know, if I got an artist, there's there's a lot of different ways you can hire artists and a lot of different paths. Um, because of what's just happened with the gig economy, because of uh, some laws that were put through like a month ago, I, I need to keep a track on seeing if they actually go all the way through, but our current administration proposed them. Um... If you pay more, if, if you earn more than six hundred dollars, uh, you have to go through all these tax loops, all, all these extra hoops that weren't there unless you got before it was. Uh, anyway, they're, they're they're changing the tax laws. They're changing the tax laws so LLCs have to pay corporate tax. You know, the corporate tax, that thing that corporations don't pay because they have roomfuls of accountants to dodge everything. It, look up Hollywood accounting sometime. No, but LLCs, tiny little small businesses who don't have that kind of lawyer and accountant trickery. Oh, an extra 30% taxes that we have to pay? Well, I'm suddenly not very inclined to start an LLC. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> It's like wow. I have to I have to keep track on these things and see what actually goes through and what doesn't. But uh in thinking about hiring artists and uh different, you know, programmers and different things, there's still a lot of ways you can do it. You could hire outside the US um and then, you know, deal with the tax laws of another country, uh which may be more complicated, but I mean, Good grief. <laughs> the taxes that they're... Yeah. Uh, you might even be able to start a company in another country. I don't know. I haven't looked into that. But that might be a way to, to avoid it. Because, um, I mean, a 30% tax. Good God. <laughs> when, you're, when you're looking at, like, mm, I have a few thousand dollars in the bank. What if I wanted to get hire people and create my own manga? <laughs> and you run into things like that, you're like, because mm. a year ago, you could just do that. You could just hire someone on commission. And uh, anyway, uh, another thing you can do, there's weird things. There's businesses that hire, uh, well, hire convicts. Uh, and the government pays you to pay them. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what would be involved with that. Uh, that would probably be a different path you could take, though. Um, I mean, what would what would you care if you're if you just want you just want artists to produce something? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, uh, jeez. Yeah, it's really killing for a... It's, it's uh, really killing for a resume if you have a gap in it. If you take a few years off work, all your employers are going to... All your employers, potential employers, are going to want to know, Hey, why didn't you work for that year? Something's fishy. So, okay, yeah. All right, what did we end up with? I'm going to call it 40 minutes. I'm not 100% sure. Somewhere between half an hour and 40 minutes, and we got it. I can ascend that quickly. I was at twice a day just, just a short time ago. Hmm. Bonk. Yeah. We're right on the cusp right now. Man, that was fast.
Eh, eventually it'll turn into one big company that controls everything. Oh my gosh, Mattel. Yes, they own Dungeons and Dragons. They own Magic the Gathering. Yeah, I know about Mattel. Freaking Mattel. <laughs> Wizards of the Coast. I went to Gen Con years ago, and Wizards of the Coast explained their thinking behind 4th edition Dungeons and Dragons. I gave it a good try. I really wanted to like it, but I just... It was a huge misstep and cost the company big in the end. But they said, they said they don't eat, that Dungeons and Dragons doesn't even appear on the quarterly earnings report at Mattel. They were feeling massive pressure to make their product make more money because they were part of Mattel. And they made major missteps in trying to acquire more revenue. It's like you're a niche product. You own this niche. You, 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 your fans love you. Don't, don't, oh, God. Anyway. <laughs> now watch, the one massive 4th edition fan is going to find this video and yell at me. Hey, I tried it. I tried it, I tried DMing it, I tried being a player, I bought quite a few books. I tried to like 4th edition. And I do borrow, when I play other other games, I do let, I do borrow bits from 4th edition, because there were good ideas in there that I steal. Uh, but, yeah. As for the big company controlling everything, yeah, that's kind of what every every cyberpunk dystopia has been saying for quite some time is our inevitable future and there we have it boom done well I'm quite satisfied with that I suppose I should spend some more wackies what should I do for the next stream of this game what should I be aiming for next what should be my new goal? Oh, hey, look, I can get more quarks. Should I just keep rolling along and build up a giant pile of cubes again? Or should I be running cubes through the next week or two? And uh, just try to get to where these are really fast and then I can start doing other things. What should be my goal? Honestly, do you know the only reason that we don't have a megacorp ruling the world already? It's because governments exist, and they keep breaking them up and telling them what they can and can't do. Like, seriously, um, there was a video, Company Man has a video on um, Dr. Pepper, Bigger Than You Know, where they explain, he explains, basically, Coke and Pepsi, I think, both tried to purchase... Anyway, Coke and Pepsi were not allowed to buy Dr. Pepper. Court order. No! So Coke and Pepsi had basically acquired like all this shit and Dr. Pepper went around through a convoluted series of things. Dr. Pepper basically owns everything that isn't Coke or Pepsi. Like they own so many sodas that belong to their their thing. So they're like the third big company. But uh Coke and Pepsi would have probably merged into one being and would have probably swallowed the entire market and then would have charged whatever they felt like if it wasn't for governments literally just just dropping the gavel and going, no, no, uh-uh, no, uh, mm -mm, no, you're too big. Not, no more of that. Stop that. <laughs> and while I honestly have mixed feelings, I'm, I'm not a libertarian. I do but I do think that the government sticks their nose in more things than they should. I mean, what do you expect? I live in Alaska as, as far as you can get from all this shit. <laughs> but uh, it's kind of kind of the culture up here. <laughs> but uh, anyway, aside from that, I do think that there is something to be said for uh, halting corporations at a certain size. That, okay, you know what, Zuck? I think maybe you're too big. You're, you might be too big. You know, eBay, that's... Mmm. 
Maybe, Twitter, you control maybe a little bit more power than you should have? I don't know. I don't know what the answer is, but I'm certainly willing to have the conversation. And YouTube needs a competitor, damn it. <laughs> Look at how fast we're going. Holy crap, this is absurd. This is ridiculous. I need more Tesseracts. Hey, I'll take that. Cool. Let's see. Mate let's see. Oh, oh, I'm falling behind. American citizen makes you have to pay taxes in the U.S. Even if you don't live in the U.S., don't work there, don't have customers there, or anything else. Um. Yeah, but not necessarily. Yes, but no. In theory, yes. In practice, mostly because all of the big corporations they they dodge so much taxes so so if you have if you have a company the company can be considered a person for tax purposes um, depending on and it, it's it's tax law is stupid you know what let's just not go into it let's just leave it at tax law is stupid you're gonna end up paying taxes but if you want to hire people and the government is taxing the shit out of them, um, you have to pay them more. I mean, obviously. Any time you tax an employee, you're really taxing the business because the business has to pay more money to the employee to, to, to make up for the taxes. No matter, and, and no matter how you tax the company, you end up taxing consumer products, the food in the store. It and and it just it doesn't matter where you put the taxes, they always end up in the products on the store shelves in the end. That's where they always end up. And so uh, people can play, trickle up, trickle down, they can pretend anything they want, but uh, in the end, you will always end up paying the taxes. <laughs> uh, I know cities like to do sneaky bed taxes and go, ha ha, we're taxing the tourists. <sighs> Yeah, anyway. Um, but yeah. Oh, let's see. 3.5 forever or Pathfinder. Yeah, 3.5 was my favorite. Um, and I was very happy with it. I switched to Pathfinder. I don't know what Pathfinder 2nd Edition looks like, but I'm very happy with Pathfinder as it is. I don't really see a reason to upgrade. Uh, I just... You know, I have homebrewed so much of my own stuff. Fifth edition, every time I look at it, I find myself put off by something. Something about it, like like every time I hear about it, I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's kind of neat. Oh, 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 why would you, no. And that's pretty much my reaction every time I encounter fifth edition. Good grief. I can't even keep up with how quickly we're growing over here. We're just expanding like crazy. Mattel flooded them out oh, oops, with cheap, unhealthy plastic toys. Then filed a lawsuit to ban those plastic toys? Uh, that happens constantly. The big corporations love things that are scorched earth for everything else. A big if you hear a corporation going oh yes we need more taxes in our industry that's because that corporation can eat the taxes and probably won't pay them probably won't pay them but it will kill all their competitors all the small boys will never have a chance uh, anytime regulations if they can get regulations passed yeah, if they're lobbying for regulations and they're a corporation, that's not because they care. They don't care about the environment. They don't care about your politics. They don't care about anything. They're put lobbying for those regulations to kill their competition. That's what they're doing every time. 
Don't trust corporations. If you think a corporation holds a political ideal because their, ad their commercials show a political ideal, look at what their posters and advertisements look like in China. Go to the Middle East and look at their commercials from their company. And you will notice something. That's funny. Where'd their political ideas go? Oh, they, they, they changed their tune because it was a different culture. Yeah, they don't give a shit. Corporations do not care. If there's a sole owner, maybe a sole owner might be a human who has a, a opinion on things. Okay? But if it's a board... It's a formless thing that has no opinions. It's just doing whatever it thinks will... Whatever it can get away with. <laughs> Let's see. Mattel is a huge company alone because they could afford the regulations. Exactly. Red to exactly. Nestle. Ah, we all know about Nestle. Um... Worst company on the planet. They're, they're damn hard to beat. That baby formula stuff. Oh, man. But then again, how we get our lithium batteries. Oof. But then again, solar is worse than people know. Ah, no, Nestle's got them beat, though. I don't know if anyone can compete with Nestle on worst. I mean, Disney's pretty bad. Google's pretty bad. Facebook, but Nestle, mm, no. If Nestle's not number one, they're certainly gunning for the position. <sighs> and yes, you're right. I find it annoying. Oh, let me buy something by Stouffer's. Wait, that belongs to Nestle. Okay, let me buy... Oh, fuck. Everything's owned by Nestle. How do I not buy from this company? Oh, yeah, I grow potatoes in my garden. <laughs> yeah no name brands are often the same product uh sometimes sometimes you can really taste the difference depends oops depends on which no name oh shit yeah cucumbers there's no difference yeah ebay needs a competitor a large amount of our paychecks to taxes. Mm. Yes, that's true. That's true. If you employ somebody, uh, there's a ton of taxes and regulations and things. And depending on the state, it can be absolutely brutal. I do not comprehend why anyone ever moves to California when they're a business. I was listening to Company Man talk about um, um, gateway computers. It was a very interesting story. But when he got to the part where they moved their headquarters to California, I groaned out loud. And then the company started going to shit. And then the person who founded the company said he regretted his biggest mistake was moving to California. And I'm like, you think? <laughs> Why would you go there? That's the that's the worst place you could take your business. Uh, I mean, I mean, there's other places that are pretty terrible to go, but why? Why do all the tech companies go to California? Why? Why do so many businesses move their headquarters? Like they're all like, either they're in either they're in California, New York City, depending on the business. I think I think Houston, Texas and Phoenix, Arizona also have have industry. Um, I think that's about it. Why not, why? Why why? You're you're a company that sells computers. What's wrong with just being in the middle of Iowa? What what's wrong with that? That was a fine place to have your headquarters. You, you just 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 stay someplace like that. <laughs> why would you go? Why would you move across the country? 
I don't get it. <laughs> McDonald's? Ah. You know, McDonald's is an interesting story. Hmm. Nuclear is better than people give it credit for. Nuclear is probably the best option, honestly. Um, I would be comfortable. I would be very comfortable with nuclear. Uh, I would be very interested if stuff were going on with ECATS or, you know, experimentation. That one may or may not actually work. I can never... It has been thoroughly debunked as, as a thoroughly fraud thing. Yeah, well, I am sus I am suspicious. I don't know. It might be bunk. It might actually work. But nobody ever talks about um, earth batteries, the Stubblefields earth batteries, or... Uh, there's a lot of things. I, I, there's a lot of things that I wonder about. But solar and wind are not good. Solar. Solar is being made by essentially slave labor. And it's made out of parts that... You want to increase the world's pollution, m get cheap solar panels. They will break. They will break in a far shorter time than their lifespan is supposed to be. And then they will leak crap into uh, wherever you throw them out. Yeah. Yeah. Cheap solar panels made from China are bad. Very bad. <laughs> every In every way you look at them. And wind power. <sighs> there are places where it works, and there are places where it does not work. And politicians subsidize it so it gets built in places where it shouldn't be built. And then they strip it for parts within like a year of building it. Because it's... <sighs> there are places where wind power makes a lot of sense. But on a whole, there's a lot of moving parts. It has a lot of wear and tear and maintenance. And they kill all the birds. <laughs> I mean, you know... <sighs> Nuclear doesn't kill all the birds, and it doesn't have all these problems, and it just makes a lot more sense to me. Uh, what I really want is cold fusion. I really want cold fusion, but, you know, that's me being a sci-fi nerd, I guess. So, McDonald's, I could talk about Disney. Yeah, Disney is everywhere. Disney, oh my gosh, stop giving bailouts to things like that cruise ships, theme parks, Disney, the movie theaters. Disney should be collapsing right now after the last year. But they are eternal, I suppose. Yeah. McDonald's used to be a better business than it is now. They used to keep their stores very clean. Uh, they used to... Uh, they, they used to be kind of all right, but uh, there was an investigative journalist that got into all things the ice cream machines, and it was fascinating. He did a little mini documentary on the McDonald's ice cream machine. He got a hold of the manual, and he read the 300-page manual. He interviewed franchise owners. He, d he really dug into it and discovered, get ready for this. It's a total scam. The ice cream machine's being broken all the time. That's on purpose. Okay. McDonald's... So, so, so from other people, I know that McDonald's is not really a fast food chain. It's a real estate business. And they're being paid rent because the franchise owners... You have, I don't know, $100,000. Or you take a loan from the bank and just risk it all. I'm going to open a McDonald's. And you contact McDonald's and they say, okay, we own this plot of land right here that's practically guaranteed to be a good location because this is what we do. We know good locations and we buy them. And you go, awesome, okay, I will rent this land from you. I will pay the franchising fee and whether or not I make any money, you will get paid. McDonald's, hmm. So McDonald's is getting money no matter what. What's going on here? 
Ah, I've been failing to do this challenge. Silly me. I've been so caught up in talking. Anyway, well, the ice cream machine is a an, is an scam on top of that because it, it eventually comes down to the same company makes ice cream machines for Wendy's and other fast food chains, and they don't break. But McDonald's requires every franchise owner, they have no options. Like on stoves and other things, they might have a choice of this brand of deep fryer or that one. For the ice cream machine, it has to be this exact specific model. Okay, so they all have to buy this model that keeps breaking. Well, it breaks, and it gives them cryptic errors. And every time it gets updated, the errors have become more incomprehensible. And everything in the book basically guides you to call the technician to repair the ice cream machine. And the technician is, rep is paid an obscene amount of money to service your ice cream machine. It's like, it's, it's obscene. And the company that makes the ice cream machine, 20% of their revenue comes from service and repairing their machines. And you just look at it all, it lines up and you go, ah oh, shit, yeah, no, this is this is this is McDonald's screwing over their franchise owners. Mm-hmm. And there there were more details. There's a whole little documentary, and I, I absolutely believe it. I absolutely believe it. <laughs> so let's see. Hmm. Oh, you want to talk about people killing uh people being killed by power I think it's um, dams hydroelectric hydroelectric apparently a, a lot of people die working with hydroelectric I, I don't know why but apparently that's got a really high rate actually the most dangerous jobs I think fishing uh, fishing boats uh, I think they pay well but they have they're, they're, they're dangerous a lot of people die on them I don't live, you know, I don't live in Valdez, so I don't see a lot of the, uh, a lot of that kind of stuff locally. I'm land, I'm, I'm inland, but I do understand that's, that's a dangerous profession. Of course, being a president of the United States is apparently one of the highest. When you just, uh, I think it was Thoughty too ran the numbers of how many assassinations there were and how many assassination attempts, and it's like, oh shit, yeah, I don't want that job. <laughs> I'd... I think I think I think I'll pass on that one. Thanks. Hey, Nico. Let's see. <sighs> Fukushima and Chernobyl are. I'm not gonna get into them. There's a lot that were wrong with those places. For Chernobyl, everything was wrong. For Fukushima, though, I'm just gonna say this. Do not build multiple reactors side by side, please. Please don't build no multiple reactors side by side on a fault line next to a shore when you know that earthquakes and tsunamis are a thing that happen inevitably. It, it, it's a thing that will happen in that spot if your plant is there long enough. In a long enough time span, this will happen to it. Don't don't build it there. Just don't don't build it there. I think that's all that needs to be said about Fukushima. <laughs> uh I think I did. Didn't they do a video on the positives and a video on the negatives uh, for that one? I think they I think they did. I think they did a positive and a negative one. Um, I think they were okay. They didn't do... I, honestly, they don't go into detail on things. Let's see. California should be barred off. I'm not... I don't need to keep up on chat here. Go hang with Hawaii. Alaska can come too. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. 
Austria built a complex nuclear reactor. Well, France has like all the nuclear reactors. Uh, all of our aircraft carriers have nuclear reactors on them. When was the last time you heard about an aircraft carrier melting down? And then there's all the subs. And I mean, I mean, just, 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 just build them correctly. Use breeder reactors so that you can. Oh no! Actually, use the salt. There's a salt that you you literally you can't have a meltdown. Um, the reason that we use the kind of uranium that we use, it's actually because of the uh, Cold War and the uh, they wanted more weapons grade uranium, and so the infrastructure was built for that. But there was a completely different path for nuclear power that literally can't melt down it uses salts uh look into it it's it's interesting so there's there's like there's like an entirely different path we can take with nuclear energy <laughs> also mcdonald's had a nice beginning but then the dark ages happened well i mean you know it's a freaking corporation yeah so nico i have gotten it to where i can uh Basically, I, I've got ascension within 40 minutes, I think. Under 40 minutes if I'm trying. That's what we accomplished this stream. I had been doing one ascension a day. I had just gotten to where I could do two ascensions a day. But having a shit ton of... Uh... Also, I did my respects. But having... Excuse me. Hiccup. Hmm. Having a uh, shit ton of boxes to spend and spending them all. Just a ton of cubes. Yeah, it was great. It was awesome. Let's see. Tactic for McDonald's is genius. Yeah, there's a couple other companies that have really clever models. Oh my gosh, who did it? Somebody did a video on um, In-N-Out Burger. I don't have an In-N-Out Burger up here. I have never eaten at the place. I, I, I only vaguely familiar with the name. But this, this is a guy that just covers different business models, different corporations and things. He goes to In-N-Out and I'm like, Wow. You have to work there for like three to six months before you're allowed to flip burgers, which sounds kind of crazy. But their employees, even the lowest employee is paid, I think they said $15 an hour. And by the time you get to a store manager, it got to like a quarter of a million dollars a year. And they had all kinds of benefits as a burger chain. And they have a low turnover. Employees stick around for years working there. And so their their chain only has a f it's it, it's very very slow to expand. Subway opens as many stores in a day as they open up in a year. And I'm just I'm just looking at them. I'm like, wow, what a business model. And they they're not being stupid. They're not just expanding like crazy and dumping stock on the market. They're just very slowly, very consistently and every you know I'm, I I found I find that impressive that impresses me that's it's really cool unfortunately I don't think we're ever going to see one of them up here <laughs> so I won't find out if their food is even if their food is any good ow just <laughs> joined a bunch of tin foil heads Ah, well, they knew they were joining the crazy guy's stream. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's some possibilities. I mentioned the E-Cat earlier. You can look that up. Um, it, might not, it might not be real. But on the other hand, I wonder, I wonder if it was discredited because it would have... Well, it would have, it would have changed all the rules. It would have been so disruptive to industry. Like, like it, it, cold fusion would kind of destroy the oil and gas and coal industries. It would put an end to the solar and wind industry. And the s big solar is not something you hear about. But solar is big. There's a lot of money in solar. And there's a lot of politicians in the pocket of solar. <laughs> and nobody talks about it. 
but it really is a real thing. <laughs> so, uh, you don't think politicians are running around pushing solar because they really believe in it. <laughs> no. Uh, anyway. But yeah, no, the ECAT might work. I would love to get my hands on one and find out if it's real or not. But it is officially debunked. So, and it might be bunk. It might be garbage. I don't know. <clears throat> All I know is it's a product that never made it to the market. But, you know, once in a while you hear about something like that. <laughs> they never turned it on? Oh, that's sad. Oh, well, let's not steal power from other dimensions. That's how you get alien invasions. You start stealing power from other dimensions, and a whole bunch of terrible squid monsters come bursting through a portal to rip your face off. And then you'll deserve it, because you've been stealing their power. <laughs> ah. ah, now a Dyson Sphere. Now, see, solar panels in space make so much sense. When you don't have an atmosphere in the way, solar panels are amazing! I mean, seriously, the amount of energy lost because of the atmosphere, because of all the dust, all the water, everything in the atmosphere, just, you know, man, I want space travel. I want my own space station. I want my own space mega fortress. But I'll settle for a volcanic secret base in Antarctica. Zero point energy. Hmm. Subway's. Yeah, Subway is. Th they're, they're the great horror franchises. They will let anybody open a Subway anywhere on the cheap. And they have expanded ruthlessly. But, I mean, you know, they don't have predatory business practices. Quiznos was was predatory and they screwed over their own franchisees over and over again. If you wonder where Quiznos went, I don't know, maybe you still have one locally. I I don't think we do anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Video killed the radio. Hmm. Nobody talks about big solar. <laughs> yes. There you go. Get 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 your tinfoil hat on and scream that and watch the looks you get. Even the other tinfoil hat people will look at you funny. Big solar? What? It's a, it's a, it's a massive, massive industry. Massive. There's, there's billions to be, you know, it's huge. Yeah, it's a big industry. It has think tanks. It has advertising agencies. It has PR. It has lobbyists. It's a full, big thing. Nobody th talks about it. Nobody thinks about it as being an industry. A lot of things are industries that people don't question. <laughs> Ah, uh, and anything that has money in it, anything that has money in it is going to have people trying to expand the business, and it's going to have lobbyists and people trying to manipulate how you think of that item. Anything that exists. I don't care what it is. If it's a good or service, if there's money to be made, <laughs> it's going to be. Uh, that's, just, that's just the nature of everything and it helps to remember that uh, squid monsters that's right we are cursed to exist in this timeline ah uh, but are we we are born at just the right time to explore cyberspace and anime <laughs> And we have the best video games that have ever been had. 
As for space, we could do it. We could do it right now. Look, uh, I have a friend who was took a lot of physics classes and chemistry and shit, and he always gets mad because of the terminology, but I use layman's terms that people can understand. Okay, centrifugal force. You can get artificial gravity. We have a design for a space station with one G, artificial gravity. We know how much it would cost to build the thing. And yes, even built by governments, which is the most expensive way to do things, it's well within our budget to build the thing. In fact, it cost about as much as the, um, the uh, war in Iraq. A comparable, comparable price point. So yeah, no, we could absolutely build a space station with 1G. And that overcomes a lot of the issues of space travel. Now, there's still some issues related to radiation and other things that, you know, there, there are issues. But, I mean, come on. Look at the past. Look at the giant ships that were built at extreme cost and sent to sail across the world. The dangers involved with those journeys. How many people didn't make it in those journeys? The sailors. Ugh, scurvy is bad stuff. The calms where you're stuck at sea just drifting. A lot of ships were just straight up lost. So I, why aren't we building spacecraft? Yeah, there are dangers. Yeah, there are complications. But what happened? We can do this. I want space travel. I want to see a space station. Just f screw Mars. Why does everyone want to go to Mars? Fuck Mars. <laughs> There's not, it's, no, 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 no. Build a space station. Get your solar panels, because solar works great in space. You have unlimited energy. Okay, you can grow crops easily. Okay, why don't you get that going? All right, now you have unlimited space. You know what? There's infinite space for people to live. You can just keep building them. You can take, you can get a bunch of equipment for, for mining and working metal. You can send a thing out into the Kepler belt and just start mining asteroids and building more stuff. There's infinite space. There's infinite space to grow crops. There's infinite space to create biomes for, you know, if you just want to create wildlife preserves. You can just make wildlife preserves. Yeah. Yeah, as a that's 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 one of my big disappointments with modern society. We're not bur born too early to explore space. We're just not doing it. We're just not doing it, and I don't know why. <laughs> we should be doing it. Ugh. All right, let's let's end this by getting another ascension. I think we've had enough of my l endless rant stream. Uh. <laughs> but dude, if you don't have descendants to figure out how to reverse engineer your genes and bring you back in, you know, a couple centuries, then you'll never get to explore space. See, I'm down to have kids. The problem is... The problem is I have standards, and I know what I want out of life, and that makes finding a partner difficult. It would be so easy if... if I didn't have standards. <laughs> but unfortunately, once you understand what you want out of life and what kind of person you would need to be with, and then you realize those kind of people don't really exist anymore, and if they did, they, pro they probably got, got, got committed, got in committed relationships back in high school. <laughs> ah, who knows. <laughs> Idle games. 
Uh, yeah, by the way, economic collapses are a thing. Diversify your funds. Um, yeah, be careful of that. Big wind. Yeah, yeah, wind generation. Yeah. I already mentioned, mentioned some of my thoughts on that. Uh, if we develop a kind of wind that doesn't have so, a uh, kind of wind generation that doesn't have so many moving parts, that would help a lot. Um, there's just a lot of problems with the turbines. And they're noisy! <laughs> People don't tell you that! Yeah. <laughs> That's an interesting goal. Well, I already mentioned we used to, the human race used to do crazy things. They would move cities. They would undertake great epic projects. It's just that, just that we don't want to. I, I really don't think the startup costs are, are are a barrier. If we wanted to do it, we would do it. If we had somebody who would galvanize the people. The trip to the moon at the time it was done was seen... That was impossible, given the tech that they had at that time. And then we do this not because it's easy, but because it's hard. Damn, what a good speech. What a good line. JFK would have, like, one sentence that would be amazing in a speech. He would have, like, one good sentence. Ask not, to, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. That kind of stuff. He'd have one line that would just be, just be dynamite. And then the rest of his speech would be kind of like, okay, why is this guy considered a great orator again? I have not seen For All Mankind... Uh, yes, that was what diversify means. All in one thing. Yes, that is correct. That is the modern definition of diversify. It means all the same. Oh, yeah. I feel you, but, uh... Hey, I'm not going to give you financial advice, but uh, I would hold. Uh, that's what I would do. <laughs> Buy low, sell high. It literally doesn't matter what happens between the two points. You're, if, if you buy a thing and it does goes down to one... And sits at one for six months and then goes to a thousand. The only thing that mattered was the price you bought at and the price you sold at. Everything that happened in between is irrelevant. Is completely irrelevant. So I'm not going to give you financial advice. But, uh, you know. <laughs> also, yeah, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Really, seriously. Oh, vibration. Great. That's still the same problem. That's still the same problem with wear and tear. You need something that doesn't have a lot of, you know, this, this, you need something that's just not gonna, gonna wear out. For all mankind. Hmm. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I heard Apple has a thing. How's that working out for them? I don't even own Netflix, so I mean, <laughs> I have I have no skin in this game. All right, I think we're done here. I'm ready to end the stream. Let's get one more ascension off and call it a day. Land? Land is not a bad choice. Ah. Uh, 
Adam Smith talks quite a bit about uh, l where wealth comes from and cites land as uh, yeah as a source of wealth. Hey, how's it going, TFK Master? Hmm. Hmm. Construction materials. Yeah, construction materials are way, way up. Watch out on lithium. Everyone's looking for an alternative to lithium. If uh, somebody finds an alternative, uh, that might drop very dramatically all at once. Uh, so just be aware. Just be aware. Everyone wants a solution. Nobody wants to be using lithium because it's expensive and because there's that whole child labor thing that people don't like. Uh, so, you know. Yeah, by the time Elon Musk tweets about it, it's too late. <laughs> by the time Elon Musk announces that they're changing all of their batteries because they found something new, you're already too late. <laughs> yeah. You speak of the high seas, sir. Wah, wah. No one on the internet would would dare to do such a method of of watching something? Oh, why? <laughs> ah. There we go. Okay, come on. We gotta be ready to ascend now. We gotta be ready. Let's do this. We're so close. Here, let's go over to our runes. Go to our regular ruins. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Oh, wait. Oh, so much for that. All right. All right. So close. Can I get any more challenges in? Oh, there we go. That probably just won it. We've definitely got the win. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Badoop! All right, what do we want with the last of our WoW cubes? Hmm. 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 Hey, I'll get a quark. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. All right. So, I guess it'll probably be a couple of weeks. I think I'm just going to build up an absurd number of WoW cubes again. I think that's what I'm going to do during the next couple of weeks. Whenever I come whenever I decide to do another one of these food is a good investment. Yes. If you don't have at least a supply of food to last you for a while, I'm trying to remember what it was. I think it was six weeks of food. I think all the federal agencies, all the spooks tell their own people they have to have at least six weeks worth of food on hand um, in their homes. I think that's what it was. Anyway, make sure that you always have food because let me tell you, disasters happen. Every freaking time there's a hurricane or an earthquake or anything, people panic by and all the store shelves go bare. And anything that damages the infrastructure, even temporarily, you can just suddenly not have food. So, and not just food, medicine, all that kind of shit. Anything you need for your life that you need to live, I recommend keeping a supply of it. I'm not talking about a bunker with a six-year supply of canned beans. Although, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, and I certainly wouldn't make fun of anyone for doing that. Uh, I, th I think preppers are... I have no problem with preppers at all. None. <laughs> I, think, I think that's fine. But, uh, you know, 
everyone should have a supply. Everyone should have six months of money in the bank. I mean, okay, maybe at this moment money's about to lose a lot of its value, but everyone should have, if, they, if your job ceased to exist tomorrow, you should be able to pay the rent for six months. Because shit happens. <laughs> things, things happen in this world. And I do not understand, I just don't understand why everyone is just not prepared for anything. If you live long enough, if you, if you, if you were immortal, you would know that you would live through things like that happening over and over again. So, you know, if you are the mayor of a city, you know that inevitably shit is going to happen in your city. Especially if it's built on a fault line. But nobody prepares. Why? Why don't people prepare? This is one of, this is one of the great mysteries to me about humankind. <laughs> it really is. Like, I do not understand it. So. Anyway, we're ending. Yeah. Stores of rice. Rice is a good one. If you can get yourself a couple hundred pound bags of rice. Yeah. Of course, you know, it's good to have more than just rice. But, you know, rice is a very... It's a staple food for a reason. And you can get by. Don't put gasoline in a plastic bag. What kind of crazy person does that? Ugh. Honestly, the gasoline shortage is very strange. There were newspapers predicting gas lines coming before that hack occurred. I'm not, I'm not a tinfoil hat kind of guy, but they said that they paid the, off the uh, thing and got the pipe working within like a day. So what, what was going on with all these shortages? Was it just the newspapers panicking people? Well, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Because people... Most people didn't put gasoline in bags. Were people just burning that much more gasoline for a week or two? That doesn't make sense to me. So I find that one very suspicious. I don't know what the hell happened down there. Uh, but it's, it's vishy. It doesn't seem like it's on the up and up to me. But, uh, I have no theory to propose because it just doesn't add up. I'm, I just look at it from up here and go, what the hell are you doing down there? What, what, what what's going on? Oh, that's weird. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go back to my, to, to, to rototilling my garden plot now. <laughs> Because I have gasoline for my rototiller. <laughs> you know, gasoline has a shelf life, right? You can't... If you pour gasoline that you bought 10 years ago into your gas kit tank, you're probably going to destroy your car engine. I, I hope people know that. <laughs> flour, yes. Flour, macaroni noodles, uh, uh, um, beans, uh popcorn uh, everything A pipeline hack story it I don't know the, I heard that the company released a statement the uh, ones in charge the gas the the pipeline that they had paid the ransomware off within like hours and that they had the pipe functional again almost immediately that's what I heard but I I my sources could be wrong. So, uh, don't don't listen to me. I'm an entertainer. Don't come to me for news. If I wanted to be a news channel, well, I don't. <laughs> so I'm not sitting here double and triple checking everything so that I can report it. I'm just a guy living pff, way the hell off to the side who hears things. And I try to keep track of what the hell's going on. But, uh... Don't, don't look to me to be a reporter, because I ain't going to do it. Ah. 
Until next time and every time, this is Hatrix signing off. Bye. Tomorrow, more XCOM! God, I want to play more XCOM right now.